look. Hello, people. Today it's me on my YouTube channel, Casper Vlogs and stuff. Um, look, I'm measuring out my hamster's food. That's just my sister measuring out mm, hamster's food. And that's Coco's cage. Anyways, this is not a vlog. This is a toy review slash model review of the Panzer and a 1967 tank. So let's bring them over, shall we? So here we have one. I have to go. I have to get the second one, which is personally my favourite. So remember, I've only just bought them. They are die-cast. And also, it says there... Yeah. Pretty much. Time, uh, time to pack... First one out of this box. box. So I'm excited to do that. Uh, they just pop off like that. So, here we have it. It's beautiful. By the way, ignore the noise in the background. And also the tur turret pops off. How great. Anyways, remember, they're only die cast. And this top is plain plastic. As you can hear, it's very hollow. As again, this one has an issue with... Remember, I bought these at the... Sunday market, so mm, pretty impressive. As I'm just gonna pop this off because this is always gonna keep falling off. Anyways, first we're gonna actually have a look at, at the turret itself. So, a beautiful turret. About that. Um, this can also move up and down. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of just a tiny little bit of gun depression it's just a little bit bend but as again they're from the sunday market so what can you expect and uh it's just focused now as you can see it's very beautiful now onto the I'm just gonna pop this off now onto the oh damn it Yeah, Just never mind that noise there. Oh, wait a second. Um, so, anyways, as you can see, there's some uh, rubber tracks. They're, they're rubber. And also, as a very good paint sculpt, as well personally i think it's really nice how they added all these tiny details to it like that and this wait focus damn it that was really annoying as you can see, as I move it far away, it actually focuses better. I'll just ignore that, and it, it it's pretty, it's um, die cast, so you can hear that. And also, tiny little stickers there and there. Shall we move on to the front now? We shall. And as you can see, it's very good, same, same stickers. Um, Painted on tracks. I could have done a better job, honestly. Um, there's where you screw it in onto the slot, but I just unscrewed them specially for this review. And there's also some grill things. It could have been... Nah, it would kind of be impossible. I like this nice uh, uh, silver paint on the everything there. So... I really do like it. It's a really job well done. To this. 
Also, the, I've just noticed this right now, the little red lights. How impressive is that? They've done a lot of good jobs to do this. There's also a little bit of black, and I forgot to mention on the turret. Here's the captain's cupola. Here's the lights. The They're not actually lights. Here's the thing either. And on top, it's a very good, well done job. And I also like how they try to make it as fabric, this look as fabricy as it can, because these uh, tanks, they had a uh, fabric on top of this to not show the metal, because that metal was kind of weak, a bit. So they just hid that away to make it look stronger. To make enemies not look there, but as again, there's um, storage slots, and as again, I'm just gonna pop that on. Boom! Time to put that back. This is the Centurion Mark Three from the Royal Jordanian Armored Corps. That's why it has all those um, these. Uh, um indianish uh, kind of symbol on it so it's 1967 jordania dried um as you can see from the armored corpse gonna pop that back on and let's have a look at this um german one remember this turret does not come off it does not it's a really good well done job as you can see, Germany really, really, really likes to flat track, um, flat armor a lot of things, including the bottom armor, which includes uh, the suspension for some reason. Um, as you can see, the wheels and all the details. It's a really well done job how they could do all of this. And, um, sadly, this does not have any black details, and I do not have any paints. As again, tiny, tiny, tiny gun movement. Let me show you that. See? And, as again, the rubber tracks rubber down track which i really do like that they do well done job like that and i think this is um, as they done on this as well this is a really well done job as they've um, made this a bronzes color everything is like bronzes on this one because they don't the germans didn't really use silver a lot that's a fire extinguisher an extra wheel i love how um, they just do that another extra wheel some more bronze and also the back which they actually used for storing guns in um, battles and I think this tank is a really well done job and I really do love the paints everything it has on it it's just really impressive how they could show all of this off in a little package which is three pound each So, I hope you enjoyed this review, have a nice time, and bye! Also, f don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below how you like this video. Bye-bye.